the game and Mushi kind of being a side hero. Now the upside of the Spectre is that Spectre is able to just smash Zeus, smash Disruptor, smash Gyrocopter and Bounty when she gets farmed. That's just what Spectre does. Like, there aren't many heroes that Spectre's not able to kill off when she does get the Spectre on the field, played by Mushi Ninja Boogie. The spooky hero band. Oh, gonna find Cuckoo. Where are you going, Cuckoo? There's no escape that way. That way is full of shards. Who's gonna get it? They want to give it to Moon, I think. Dude. Yeah, they gave him the Moon. And look at that. We got ourselves some souls. Jabs the tusk already with the wall off. Ice of Ice Mag. Not forced to skill anything. Ninja Boogie. Even though Spectre is kind of a non-factor in the lane. Just does have that dagger. Uh, Bane and Tusk are absolute powerhouses. Bane is a big guy and so is this Tusk. Tim's gonna get daggered up and right clicked down with Mushi's movement speed. He'll get the kill. You can see Raven forced to do nothing but watch in 1437. Disruptor is not really a tri lane hero. His Thunderstrike does do a decent amount of damage, but uh, once he drops that, he's just stone useless. He can't really sit there and bruise with the likes of a Bane. Ooh, shards from jabs just off the mark. So for TNC, this, there's a, uh, somewhat of a threat here. Oh, Tim, speaking of somewhat of a threat, he's just gonna get his brain sapped out. Starship Troopers, where you at? Frankly, I find the thought of a bug that thinks offensive. And the thought of a bug that thinks offensive. Uh, Cuckoo going hard onto Moon right now. Lightning Bolt won't quite kill. Now into tower range. Moon's just gonna raise him down! Dude. It's about Isis Ice killing him really ever. Even if you skewer an axe into the tower. Oh. Okay, okay, missed that one, my bad guys. Even if you're an axe into a tower, like that doesn't guarantee a kill because of the extra armor from Berserker's Call. Means that every single cast of that Arc Lightning CS is gonna be hurting them quite a bit. Raven now deep into the trees. They will get hit with the homing missile, but Raven now completely trapped off. Tim's has gotta walk around as well, and Spectre can walk right over. Wow, another interaction I just did not think of. Mushi doesn't give a shit about shards, so you can shard off Mushi in. He shouldn't have gone in, that was really pointless. Moon is going down, he's dead, man. He's actually trapped, Tim's actually just body blocked him and trapped him, raise on the cuckoo. Needed one more. And Mushi's already getting destroyed by it. But to sleep though, they need a third hero here if they're actually gonna kill off this axe. He doesn't have the call, but he does have 10 stick charges. And the rain drops, so that dagger did absolutely nothing. Jabs is coming in, doesn't have the most damage versus Sam Mage, but he will be able to wall him off. 40 armor goes up from the axe, doesn't last that long. He does not have his dunk either, now surrounded, snowballed, and eventually killed off by Mushi. Now grabs his phase boots, so uh, axe maybe going a little bit too ham. Speaking of going ham, Glimpse back on the ice ice ice. He, I guess, tried to do some creep pulling shenanigans on bot here. Got punished and dropped. Most of the regeneration, but still with the double damage rune, Tim's gonna crash in hard. Requiem attempted here from Moon. No, he's gonna turn around and raise him to death. Now the haunt comes in on Cuckoo with jabs rolling in as well. This the Zeus has no mana, and he's gonna go down in a corner by himself. Feels bad, man. Killing off Moon is nowadays. It will and has already destroyed TNC. Now this is what something that they can do: isolate Mushi and to start dropping bombs on him. He is now trapped, but Moon is just charging in for 1437. Ninja Boogie and Jazz also here. Cuckoo trying to do what he can. Thunder God's Wrath failing to go off. I don't think that would have killed off the Spectre anyway. And now Tim's raised down again as the Axe is put to sleep. That is going to delay him for a little while. With Gyrocopter coming in, they'll buzz down Ninja Boogie, dunk him. There goes his head, now looking for Jazz. And he will shard off the passageway. Tusk, ladies and gentlemen, a very fair and balanced hero wants to go for it. So far, maxing out the Spectral Dagger, and now that's done. Honestly, this is one of the first Spectres I've seen. I think Immortal just played it yesterday. I was kind of watching that game on the side, but Muji comes in with a dust, and oh my god, that Shockwave did some damage. Specter can is honestly a hero that just does. I wonder if this is just going to be a, uh, a madness buildup, though. Exercise once again. I want to say doing the exact same thing he did before. Looking for the RP, but there's... Well, he's actually going to land it onto two. And then try to juke away. Skewer out. Ice, ice, ice. Is not going to get called. Mushi will get called instead. Still, 1437 has that glimpse. Mushi doing a lot of trouble. Up against four heroes. He's going to get bolted to hell. And he's going to go down. They do save them. There is a Shadow Fiend who's going to miss his first raise. Land his second raise. Land his third raise. That's eh, fine. <laughs> Why land all three raises when you can just land two and get the kill anyway? I was thinking, like, is he, 
Are you gonna go for another hand of Midas? What's going on over in mid lane, Cuckoo? He's gonna get hit with the snowball. One raise, two raise, and a brain sap. 1437 coming in game here for TNC, I would expect. Everyone else needs a little bit more time to kind of stabilize their situation. But a blink dagger on Axe. That is the type of item that can just straight win you games. If you find your opening, such as a whole bunch of heroes clustered up in the middle of nowhere. Unfortunately, oh, actually, fortunately, they do have the Static Storm. 1437 does have level 6. They will see Ice Ice Ice, Sam H. Gonna hunger him. And Blink Call, but there's not really much of a point right now. They need a little bit of backup. They're gonna drag him back towards the Disruptor, but not back far enough. And now the backup's coming in. Ninja Boogie's gonna grab the Disruptor with the spooky hands, kill him off. Jab's gonna claim it because he's a kill stealing <laughs> type of player, I guess. Sam H on the run. Mushi is not gonna haunt towards him. He's gonna haunt instead towards Raven and Cuckoo as there will be Moon charging in with the drums pops. Raven will pop some drum charges of his own. Cuckoo, uh, shards not gonna connect. Here comes the act call onto two. Call down is there. Nightmare gonna be juggled everywhere right now. The snowball will block the rest of that follow up. They're gonna go straight in towards the ancients. Moon in the corner is gonna requiem. No, that was actually just his death requiem. He didn't get it off. Now Ninja Boogie in a lot of trouble along with Jabs. Shuriken will get the kill. Jabs will jump himself down to the low ground, it looks like, and now be on the run. Centaur in the way is the helm of the dominator. Picked up again from Isisai, second time we've seen this build on the mag. Is just gonna try to stall out here. Get him out to safety. Shards will capture? No, that's not tight. Sam H though, landing that combo, killing off two, including that crucial, crucial. And this is up on the Spectre and 1437. Hit with the shards, walling him off. Does drop a static storm. And Tusk is gonna get glimpsed out to safety, it looks like. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter, you can't do anything there anyway. Pulled out. Not the highest cooldown in the world, but it is still a free ultimate they're able to get. Oh, they'll get Mushi though. Even your free ultimates, that might just be a little bit better. Is Spectre worth more than a Static Storm? I would say so. Is on the run now. Glimpse was already used, though so was Skewer. Comes on his ass as the backup is coming in in spades. Sam H and Raven. Oh, he sniped 1437 with the Shockwave. So he gets something before he goes down. RP onto three. With the haunt coming in, Ice Ice has a shockwave. He's gonna go down, but gets three kills for the team. As Mushi responds in, doesn't even have the empower, but cleaves through him anyway with the help of jabs. Ice Ice Ice, mind anyone though. Courier up in the high ground. Run, little dog. Oh, gonna go down. But you're not gonna get away with that for free, bounty hunter. You don't just kill the dog. Butterfly, I have Scotty. You know, those type of items, perhaps. A little more priority here for Mushi and Raven. Uh-oh, gripped up. Hands in the air like you just don't care. Raven is dead. Backup is right around the corner, but way too far. Got a sigil flying out. It may end up screwing you over, but you just gotta do it anyway. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Although, maybe that's a time where you should have let your dreams be dreams. Jazz once again. Oh, gonna fail to jump to the high ground. But the grip goes off onto the axe. They're gonna drag him right back out of the call down as well. Keeping themselves safe. Here come the Haunt Illusion. Spectre get right on top of 1437. Slay him immediately. They're taking a lot of damage. He's tracked him as well. Everyone's jumping very low, but no one's actually dying. On the TNC squad, they do dust up. Does that hit on to the Bounty Hunter? It does. Snowball's going towards Raven and Jab. They've gone a little too far, but here comes the RP. On to two. Here comes the raises to follow up. There goes one. There goes the other. The final hero sleeping in the corner. Cuckoo, wake up. Your team is dead. He is going to be able to not cast really anything. This gets obliterated by the skewer. Walrus punch to heaven. Back where Zeus belongs, I suppose. Dude, if you get script fights, that will be exactly what it looks like. Vineski drop low on all of their heroes, but they don't die on any of them. And that means they'll get a full team wipe, five mil, and walk away with the Roshan. And about this stack, for this gyrocopter with only 7k net worth, this is an absolute necessity. You can see he's gonna go for SNY of his own though. Grip though, onto the bounty, punch into oblivion. Yule Scepter will dodge a snowball, but there are three raises with Cuckoo's name on it. Maybe just two actually, the Static Storm does come up. Cuckoo's Thunder God's Wrath and the call on the Isolated Bane will get the kill. But on the Bane, who cares? Bane is completely okay with that. Ninja commits to that. Oh, smoke. 1437, careful. Ice 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 is invisible. Oh, he's gonna grab him. Dude, we saw so many of those type of plays from Ice 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 when he was playing that uh, that offlane tiny. 
And hey, just drag someone in. Magnus is suddenly Pudge. Works out, man. Moon, gonna get to work on this tower. The spam from the Zeus is going to add up very quickly, so this isn't really something that's super sustainable. As far as the push in his inductor is dead. Or, oh, RP onto two. Come right back into the raises. Even Haunt used there. Are they going to go in for more? And they will. Mushi is going to dagger the top racks. So that doesn't do any damage, bro. He's going to get called. And Glimpse back with the grip goes off onto the axe. And he will be obliterated. But Mushi taking a lot of damage. Well, will BKB and try to run away? No. We'll get tagged by something and dropped. The Aegis, keep in mind, is on the Shadow Fiend. That's going to be Mushi down with no haunts, so this is... Oh, they get another grab onto Raven! Dude, Ice 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 is on fire this game. It really, everyone from Mineski is on fire. Like, Ninja Boogie with these grips, almost every single one, I feel, has been run out to the end of its duration. Moon's been landing all the raises. Jab's been doing Tusk things. And then Mushi's been here in this game as well. He's here in... He's playing as Spectre. Ninja Boogie's gonna get Glimpse back, he will have a Nightmare for himself. Unfortunately, you can't deny yourself anymore with Nightmare, that kinda sucks. I feel like that was a cool little mechanic there for Bane they got rid of. He'll be picked off, that's a track kill for the Bounty Hunter, but we can see he's stalking the invisible Bounty Hunter. We got traps upon traps here, Mushi's gonna get called in on, but there's a surprise. Oh, RP cancelled by the Thunder God's Wrath! Maybe they can make something happen? No, not with Ninja Boogie here again. This dude has been absolutely everywhere. Tim's now on the way out. Mushi is without True Sight, so I don't really know what they're trying to do. They do see him again with the Sentry. Do they have one more? Tim's? Don't move. Don't move. Okay, move. You should probably move. Too late, you're dead. Well, I mean, if you do move, then you see the, the, the shrine to kill. Isis Isis's empowered Siege Creep is going to start getting to work here. Dude, look at this damage on the people as Moon is dying. <laughs> Why am I watching stupid catapults? God damn it. Okay, Ninja Boogie. I think he's maybe fine. There's a Blink Dagger on Sam H. Battle Hunger and a Yule Scepter, so he's gonna land right into a call. Ice Ice does have the initiation potential here, but really no point in doing so. If they had a Haunt, I would say maybe they would go in for that one, but deciding not. Tim's is going to see the Magnus. Magnus does have a skewer, but Cuckoo's right on his ass. There's the Yule Scepter. That would have otherwise cancelled the skewer, so now he's going to skewer in. Train to the Axe, he does get called in on. And should be dropping here. Where's the dunk? Uh, he's in the shrine. Sam H? He doesn't have dunk. Did he just miss it? Okay, that did not seem right, but they still get two kills. Now Tim, looking for exercise, but not going to happen just yet. Walrus Punch, and he's saved. Don't die to the birds. Dude, if you do that, like... All the respect from all these plays, like, it's just gone. <laughs> Alright, he's fine. What are you really looking to mute here? We have... I'm really sure if I like Nullfire here. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say that Mushi doesn't know what he's doing, but, uh... Don't know. This is a Dire Courier. Oh no, the dog! Not again! Ugh. Killed again. While I'm, I'm watching, once again, useless things happen. No ball forward. Mushi will survive that gank attempt and turn around for Sam H. No, doesn't even need to. Ninja Boogie is going to grab that kill. Dude, my my uh, my uh camera control, A+, plus, dude. If it was a rank higher than A+, plus, I'd be getting that one all skewered. A little bit past the Requiem, but it doesn't really matter because Raven is all alone. He tried to force staff. He didn't go anywhere. That's two kills. That is going to be the Requiem, RP, and Haunt. Still with the Satanic and this Aegis. SF feeling pretty comfortable right now. Uh, he is going to start getting that Unholy Rage Lifesteal back, and Ice 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 is going to go fishing. Fail this time, but uh, hey, it doesn't matter. You still get the racks, right? Whatever works. Someone got glimpsed back. I didn't see it, but you know, that's fine. Going for second racks now. No Gyro for a full minute. Wow, he is actually no, got by back right now. So he does have the ability to return to this fight and will be willing to do so once this axe respawns. Cuckoo is doing his job softening, poking, and prodding, dodging Magnus's. No, oh, Link called. Oh, dodged by Ice Ice Ice. This man, he doesn't have an RP. He's just gonna slowly walk into place and skewer him back. The most glacially slow gank of all time, but they got him. Forcing the buyback on the gyrocopter now as Moon's gonna push the high ground. Snipe 1437. And Mushi 
He does have that nullifier still. You gotta watch out if you're on the front line, especially Cuckoo. You can Yules to dodge the nullify effect. It's a slow projectile, but you cannot Yules once you are nullified. Kill the missile! Oh, the nightmare! Dude, Ninja Boogie! Everyone on Manessi are just balling out of control right now. Cuckoo, trapped by the shards a little bit. That's not clean, though. Nice, nice, nice. Blink RP. Only catches onto the Zeus, but he's the problem here right now. Calldown is there, but immediately he's gripped up. It's going to be canceled by a Shuriken, I think. And Raven will be able to skirt back to safety with that Force Staff, but Zeus immediately forced to buy out. Raven is trying to get a flat cannon kill. We'll get it on the Shadow Fiend, but that's just the first life. They have zero control here, so Mooch's gonna walk out. Now, here comes the haunt. With Mushi, he's gonna nullify the Zeus, get him with those slows, and he's dead. BKB protecting that kill. Cuckoo is dead for 90. He already bought back. And that is going to be that. Two sets of racks. Uh, do they still have cheese? Do they still have a Magnus who wants to fight? Yes, they do. Magnus, maybe. Oh, not gonna happen because of the snowball! Oh my god, this is just a clinic. Raven's gonna go down. Sam H is swamped. He's dead as well. And Jabs is not even killing 1437 because he doesn't have to. What a good guy. He's never mind. He's gonna jump to the fountain and BM. Brats, once again, Mineski are going to destroy TNC. And you know what, guys?